On September the 13th, the Federal Reserve, the US Central Bank, announced a new program of quantitative easing, the creation of money to try and boost the economy. Like Pavlov's dogs, the stock market salivated, as it has done on the previous occasions the Fed announced similar measures. Are these rounds of monetary easing actually necessary and will they succeed in boosting the global economy? Quantitative easing involves the creation of new money, not the literal printing of money as used to occur, but the creation of money with a click of a computer mouse. When an investor sells government bonds or another asset to the central bank, the central bank credits the bank account of that investor with new money. The aim is to encourage investors to leave safe assets like government bonds and invest in riskier assets like shares. And it's also to stimulate lending in the economy by keeping interest rates low. Does quantitative easing work beyond lifting the stock markets in the short term in a kind of sugar high? In the long run, critics fear that the effect of expanding the money supply, having more money chasing fewer goods, will be to create inflation. The positive case for quantitative easing is that it has prevented a very deep recession indeed. Although central banks may be creating money, the biggest source of money creation in the economy traditionally has been the commercial banks, and they have been destroying money by shrinking their balance sheets. The best way of thinking of it is as a bar. As the central banks are pouring in money through the taps, the banking system has pulled out the plug at the other end. And the net effect, if you look at the total amount of money in the system, particularly in Europe, is a balance. The money supply is barely growing at all. So without QE, the argument is, the money supply would be shrinking very rapidly, just what happened in the 1930s and what led to the Great Depression. To sum up, Quantitative easing is a controversial policy and an untested one, but the economist's view is that it's worth a try. The authorities have few other options, and the danger is that if they do not act, the world could fall into a very deep recession.